I wasn't nervous at all beforehand for whatever reason. I can't imagine why. And in the morning of, and in the morning of, I, I was like sweating bullets. And uh, so I remember the funniest here. thing about it was, I don't know what I had in my head about it, but we got there and uh, we did our sound check. And I was, I was asking one of the guys, I was like, hey, is there a restroom around here we can use? And he was very nonchalant. He was like, yeah, there should be one in your trailer. And I was like, I my had trailer. no idea. My we trailer, got to the he didn't trailer. mean the place we grew up. Right, exactly. <laughs> and uh, it was just a very um, rock star moment that I, you know, that I, I, like, I wasn't expecting it. And we got there and there was like this big trailer and a big hoopla. And uh, it was odd. Odd to say the least. It was and awesome. It, it was, was awesome, yeah. Bloody and awesome is what yeah, it was. It was great. We show up. And ain't none of us had a pot to piss in our entire lives. We all come from a less than awesome. I mean, we all come from an awesome, awesome background. There's not a person in our band who wasn't raised right. So, so we get there, and everybody's taking this so fucking seriously. <laughs> everybody's got a like, like er everybody's just so hoity-toity and all this kind of shit. And we're just like, you mean we got we get beer? Right. All right, chips. Two cool. Cases. We get two K. We get more beer than there is in the band than there are in people in the band. You and, know, and a fruit plate. And, really, and a fruit plate. It really means how awesome is that shit? I get mean, fruit plate. We all got, you know. I mean, yeah. Well, they were to give us this big, like, give us the trailer, which is weird. And then they give us all kinds like, of free beer and it's like cooler. Me and B were like, yeah, we'll just carry that cooler out on stage, just drink it on stage. They didn't have. I talked to about. <laughs> yeah, they'll talk us out of it, but. In retrospect, I promise you. It would have been funny. <laughs> and, and, and then we get up there, and I, I was very, very much like, very kind of the opposite of Dale, actually, whereas I was shooting bricks up until morning of, and, and kind of because of where I work and where Chris and I work and that kind of stuff in a club mentality, we start seeing all these people where well, all of a sudden all the roadies and all that stuff who are expecting rock stars and are expecting all these kids to be like, oh, we need a sound job. We walk up to the loaders and like, where do y'all want us? What do you? What do you guys? What do y'all want us to do? Y'all tell us where to go. And because of that, the guys loved us, and and we've come to find out that we probably had a more personable experience with the audience than a single other person that played the entire weekend. I've had multiple people say that we're probably the only band who played the entire weekend who looked like we had fun. Yeah. And I mean, and you, can, you can see that. I mean, we had family recording us. We had family all around us, you know. I mean, we, we, you, as far as that, as far as that could be, I don't think we could have had a better experience. As far as that, now, granted, if my Great. parents would have gone to the right stage and seen me play, <laughs> that might have been a little cooler. <laughs> Sorry, Dad. And I personally got to do the absolute best possible thing you could do at Memphis in May when you play early and you don't have to work the rest of the day. I left. Yeah. It was awesome. I got to go see Iron Man. That's how you enjoy Music Fest. I, I, I've never been to Music Fest. I'm from Maine, you know. It's like. <laughs> You know, I've never even been there, and now they're telling me we're playing this thing, and I'm like, oh, okay. And everyone's just freaking me out the whole time. It's like, are oh, you getting ready? You didn't even realize how big it was. I know, I had no idea how big it was, really, so I was like, and everyone's like, that's a good deal. Like, what? I'm just trying to, you know, it's kind of weird. <laughs> how awesome was it having your mom and your, your brother there? Please expound on that, because that was one of my happiest moments, seeing, seeing her there. Yeah, well, mom, my brother, and his wife and daughter showed up, so, you know, it was... Fun to see them. Never see them at shows or anything like that. So. And they liked us. And they liked us. That was the best part. Yeah. Had they not heard you play? Uh, no. <laughs> not in this capacity. Not in this capacity. Not where it was good. Any of us, for that matter. Right. So. Yeah, yeah we were surrounded by family. I mean, it was really cool because, like, it you could great. so tell. We, with us being the first band there, nobody was there to see us, really. I mean, there, we had our friends and a couple other people who came out because we made a big point of not telling people to come out just to see us. If you're going to Music Fest, come and see us, but I don't want anybody to pay that money just to yeah. see us. I don't even want that. If we ever got popular popular, I wouldn't want anybody to have to pay those prices to come see us play. That's just yeah. not cool. And I but, had like six people from family from out of town come in that uh, a lot of them I haven't seen in years. But you see this entire two that rows really in front. Cool. These these These... These kids who were there for every other band there, mm. obviously not us. <laughs> and what was the great, what the great thing we're playing? Nobody got it. Nobody got it. And that's that, that's, that's the way it is. We, you, when you're in Memphis, as long as Some we are, you get very. It. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. First two songs. <laughs> first two songs. Almost nobody knew what the fuck was going on. Right. Third song. Everyone's relaxing. And then Chris Moore, my God and Savior, does the coolest thing ever okay. and raises his arm and goes, "Beer break." Beer break. Beer break. Beer break. Beer break. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Then the next thing you know, did we've you got. Start that? He's the one who started. Yes, you are. You're the one who started. I'm, you did it. Raised your arm up, and somebody yelled it when you did that. So next thing you know, in between every single song, we've got 150 strangers loving us. We might as well have been both Cephas at that point. That's all it took. Was That's to be all it took. And after that, after that one little bit of familiarity between us and that, everybody was much more into. Okay, well we have, and then of course after that came the rockabilly. They're like these guys drink beer. It's like, yeah, these guys are drunks like us. All right, this, this is pretty cool. And, but nobody else was like that. The whole damn, the whole everybody else was like, yo, we're here. Yeah, let's go. Everybody, get off your asses. Yeah, some of them let's were like, let's all jump. Some of them were like, if you like that song, you can get the ringtone for two ninety nine. Just call this number. No <laughs> shit, off the stage. I'm not gonna say what band. It was. <laughs> and we're much more like, if you like that song, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we wrote it for. <laughs> we appreciate that. That's cool. <laughs> but that was a great day. That really was a cool day. I mean, just yeah, that was that, and we got paid. Hey, all that, <laughs> all that experience. Plus we got money. Yeah, money. plus plus we got paid. That was cool. Yeah. And you guys were there. I mean, how awesome was that? We had, yeah, really? we had. I mean, seriously, having friends of ours that we'd known for a long, long time around that, you know, and having family around made a difference to me. That made it a lot more comfortable knowing that that I could uh, like that the. The shirt thing would never have happened, or it would have happened, but it would never have been, been okay. Forgotten. That's cool. It would have been forgotten. It, it, a, it would have been forgotten by us. It would have been forgotten by whoever's shooting. And if somebody else other than you had done that, I'd have been like, "Are you nuts? Not great. gonna do it." I love Not, it. But because of it, it ends up being something my grandmother will never let me live down, and that's that's awesome. Like my, it's ironic when the, one of the proudest moments. When you're a black sheep of the family, the proud, one of the proudest moments you have of a family is when you take off your shirt in slow motion to an opera song in front of a thousand people. That's when all of a sudden they're actually proud of you. It worked. 